Hello there, I'm Yvonne DeSellis coming to you today on my channel, Why Energy. Just to let you know, I am going to get very hard to hear because I'm going to have to move this camera, which I apologize for in advance. Things are going to get a little crazy just for a few seconds because, I, like I said, I have to move the camera and then I'm going to go way back there and it's going to be really hard to hear me. Um, but I will, as soon as I can, I will subtitle this video because I would like you to be able to hear me. What I'm going to do today is show you guys how to do the lymphatic flush. The lymphatic system controls a lot of things. It's really important if you just don't feel good, if you just feel like they say blah, I've heard that one a lot. If you just don't feel right, cleaning your lymphatic system is a really good thing to do for your body. Think of the lymphatic system as kind of like an unseeable, I, I would say skeletal and blood system or your circulatory system, but it's the energy version, not the physical. So all of the exercises I'm going to do are things that your body needs. Believe me, um, I, I know it might sound woo woo. It's really not though. You can think of it as new age or complementary medicine. It is a holistic approach, but this can really help with a lot of different things. When I'm feeling really lousy, I find this to be very helpful. This is going to be more than just a one minute long video. And once again, I apologize for the audio because I know that I'm going to be hard to hear. Um, but again, as soon as I can caption this, I will, and I will also translate the captions into other languages. So with all that said, I'm going to get going. I'm going to move this computer. I'm recording this with my computer, which I might have to occasionally run to to wake up every once in a while, because if it falls asleep, it might stop recording on its own, and I don't know why that happens. While it's recording, I wouldn't expect it to stop. But anyway, come with me while we go to a different location. Once again, shaky camera, and I apologize if this makes noise. I'm hoping it won't, but it might. So again, I apologize if it does. I am walking backwards. By the way, um, the brace that I have on my stomach, it's not a stomach shrinker or anything like that. I'm doing this for my back. It's a gold gem band. But I'm going to walk back there so you guys can see the full lymphatic flush. So I think this might be far back enough. I hope it is. Oh, actually, let me adjust this so you don't have to look at the overhead lights. I don't want that to hurt your vision. Um, I'm just going to go a little bit back more. Here we go. Let's see, I'm going to walk back here, and hopefully, okay, and I don't think the lights are as bad back here, hopefully. So, for the lymphatic flush, you start with the K27 points, and to find your K27 points, go to the back for your collarbone, trace it to the front where the points meet, right at the center, almost meet, and you should find two little soft spots right here. These are your K27 points, so you want to vigorously massage those. I just recommend using the index finger and middle fingers, both hands. And then when you're done, go out about an inch, and those are your governing points. So you want to massage there. And then when you're done with that, you're going to massage the spot where your shoulders, or sorry, where your arms meet your torso and just massage it down. I massage it with my knuckles because I always hear that it should be a vigorous massage, aka it should almost hurt. So if it does hurt, it means you probably need it. Once you're done with that, you're going to go up to your chest over your pecs and just give yourself a rope over the pecs, and then go under the pecs, go to the sides and come to the center, and then, and actually this is what I meant, I don't know if you can see anything from where you are, but the computer almost fell asleep. I am gonna actually have to take this off to show you the rest. So here we go. Okay, so after doing the pecs, going out from the sides, coming to the center, you're then gonna just massage Actually, before you massage, I was going to say massage down, but what you want to do is come to the sides once again underneath your pecs with your knuckles and vigorously massage from the sides, come into the center. All the way to the center. When your hands meet, you can start vigorously massaging. Just use index finger to pinky and just vigorously massage down. Go past your, your belly button. You're going to keep going down until you hit your genital bone or your trying to remember what the right word is. Um, it's, I, I can't think straight right now, but just till you get to the genital bone. When you get there, stop, and you're gonna come out to the hips. I have to warn you, the hips and the in-between part, you might hit, hit sore spots here too, like very, very sore spots. It might hurt, which again, means you need it, but you just wanna go down the size of your legs, go all the way down until you get to about an inch over the knees, and then just 
bring your legs about the shoulder or a little bit more than shoulder width apart and go in between the legs and go down. And again, you might hit some sore spots here, but you want to go to about an inch over the knees and then you can stop, rub your hands together, shake them out. And that's pretty much the whole thing. I am going to put this back on because I need it as a back brace. I find this very helpful for lower back pains. I know that there are better back braces than this, but I like this one because the really good back braces, since I have hand problems, I have a hard time opening them. But anyway, I really do hope that was helpful for you. I'm going to move this one more time so that I can be heard. Um, don't mind the mess behind me. I know it's kind of a mess that's pretty much a permanent condition, so sorry if the mess bothers you, but it's a pretty much permanent thing here. But anyway, I really do hope that was helpful. That was the lymphatic flush, and I hope that was helpful for you. Please let me know in the comments down below. If you did find that helpful and you know anyone else it might help, please share this video with them. And I guess that's it for now. I will be back in about a week. I hope you will come back and see me again. Thank you so much for coming to see me. I really do appreciate it. Best of luck to you with everything. Peace and light and namaste. I will be back once again. Thank you once again for your time. And I will be back here as soon as I can. Thank you as always. Take care of yourselves. Be as well as possible. Bye-bye.